Hi, I'm Matt Carr from Southeast Games and today I'm going to demonstrate the Mesh Particle Renderer system we've developed. Particles in Unity use three standard components, the Emitter, Animator and Renderer. Now the Particle Renderer uses fill watered planes. These are very common in particle systems and very useful, but sometimes you'll want to use meshes as your particles. So that's where our Mesh Particle Renderer component comes in. See, it's very simple to use, very few properties are set. You can use any mesh from your project, and it uses a standard mesh renderer, so all materials and shaders will work with the particles, including casting and receiving shadows. With the exception of the colors in this version, all animator and emitter settings will work as expected. You can set the size, apply velocity, grow, apply force, everything you expect will work. You can also apply rotation and when you need accurate lighting on rotated particles simply tick calculate normals and tangents and they'll have accurate lighting. These apples are colliding with the plane beneath we're using the standard world particle collider Unity provides and it works with our mesh particles as with any other particle renderer. You'll see any other random mesh will work. All emitter and animator settings work as expected. Crazy velocities will come through fine. These rocks are using a normal map material, the standard bump specular. You'll see all properties work as per normal. The system is extremely optimized and is very, very fast. But we also provide a threaded version for even more speed. So where you can support using threading this is a much faster version and you can set the update frequency you can change this number over distance if you wanted to provide a lotting system to your mesh particles raising the number will slow down the frequency of the updates you can see that when running the threaded version we're getting around 400 to 450 frames per second. The unthreaded version on this modest machine is still fast at around 150. But where possible, this is the ideal version. You'll see we can apply the standard systems to the threaded system as well. It works exactly the same. You can change the emission rate. And you can even change at runtime the particles being rendered. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, we're going to be putting this on the asset store as soon as possible. Um, I'm looking forward to any feedback and any suggestions for future versions are welcome. Thank you.